Asrock Intel Arc A380 Challenger ITX graphics card benchmarked in games in 3D mark. Asrock's newly launched Intel Arc A380 Challenger ITX graphics card has been benchmarked in several games in 3D benchmarks. Launched last week, the Asrock Intel Arc A380 graphics card is small as a small form factor solution for the ITX segment. The GPU is based on the Alchemist ACM G11 SKU, featuring 8 XE cores and 1,024 ALUs. The card comes with a rated 500 watt power supply requirement and features a single HDMI 2.0B and 3 DisplayPort 2.0 ports. There's 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which is the highest we have seen on this gen's entry level cards. And since the whole thing is designed around the ITX form factor, it measures 190 by 124 by 39 millimeters. Obviously, that is intriguing coming from the mining perspective. An entry level GPU with the most amount of memory, six gigabytes, which should fit all of the DAGs that you could ever want, except for, of course, I believe one, which is either Cortex or Conflux. Let me know in the comment section below. I think one of those is technically above six gigabytes, but the rest are good to go. ASRock decided to test the card itself, and we can see that while the card features an official clock speed of 2,250 megahertz, the GPU was actually running at 2,450 megahertz within the Firmark stress test. The chip produced a maximum temperature of 78C, which is decent considering this is a conservative cons cooler with a singular fan and a small heat sink under its shroud. The A380 Challenger ITX graphics card was tested in various games and 3D benchmarks. You can see the results below, so let's hop into those. We have a TDP of 92 watts and a single 8-pin connector, which is pretty nice. And scrolling down, let's see if we can figure this out. Um, it's hard to tell what all of these games are. I'm going to assume this is Cyberpunk 2077 at 47.5 frames a second. I'm going to assume this is CSGO. Oh, wait, it actually says CSGO at 160 frames per second. And this is at 1080p. So you could get, you know, a full 144 hertz panel on CSGO if that's what you're looking at. Or, of course, Dota 2. You have your Apex Legends at 91 frames a second. Not too shabby. Gaming numbers are also provided in various titles, which showed the ARC A380 delivering over 60 and 100 FPS in most esports titles at 1080p. Clearly, which is the target for this particular uh, this particular GPU. Looks like we have the Fire Strike or the Time Spy, excuse me, score here of 4,668. Not looking too great. I would be curious though on the essentially the mining performance. However, I don't expect much out of it either because while we are getting six gigabytes of GDDR6, which can fit full DAGs, all that sort of thing, the memory speed is pretty slow at 15.5 gigabits per second, and the memory bus is only 96 bits. So it's really going to come out to or come down to, you know basically what price point this comes in at for whether or not it's worth it. I'm going to lean towards probably not worth it for mining. 96 bit bus is quite tiny and the memory speed is quite low. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.